Hi, I'm Jacob Beals and this is my show. And today I want to share with you guys some of my favorite things of 2013. And by favorite things, I don't mean like Kanye West and Kim Kardashian having a baby together or Justin Bieber supposedly retiring or even Miley Cyrus swinging on a wrecking ball. So don't worry. I just want to sit down with you guys and tell you some of my favorite songs, my favorite YouTube video, uh, one of my favorite shows that I've been getting into this year, and even my favorite thing of them all, my favorite movies of the year. So here we go, starting with my favorite YouTube video of the year. And I wasn't really on YouTube as much as I have been in the past. I've been kind of busy and I didn't get to watch a ton of videos, but there was one video that stood out to me and that was, what does the fox say? And I'm sorry if you're getting annoyed by that. I know some people are really getting annoyed by it now. You know, they've heard it so many times everywhere. And I really like this video. I think it's fun, it's creative, and it, it, it's just random and silly, but it, it's true. We don't know what the fox says exactly. I'm not sure. And this song helped me think about it even more. And like all YouTube classics, it's one of those that I replay over and over again and it just gets stuck in my head. So now on to my favorite music. And I listen to quite a bit of music this year. I always do. I always stumble upon different things. And I want to share with you a couple artists that really stood out to me um, from what I listened to. And the first one is a Imagine Dragons. I know a lot of you have been hearing about these guys, you know, that they, they really got a big break this year with their song, um, It's Time, and later on with Radioactive, and now Demons has been playing on the radio, and I like all three of these songs, and I really have enjoyed listening to these guys on the radio, and I don't get tired of them, you know, they play their songs a lot, but that's okay, because I want to hear more of them, and I'm really excited to see what these guys do in the future, and they're one of my favorite artists of this year. I really feel like, that for a breakout artist, these guys have broken out, that's for sure. And another artist I really want to talk about, as some of you might know, I'm a big country music fan, and a, a, a girl that I really thought has breaking out in country music this year is Casey Musgraves. She's really fantastic. I bought her album. Every song on it's great. I love listening to it. I've listened to it several times over the year, and the songs that have been hits, you've heard them. Same trailer, different park, blowing smoke. And uh, the other one was Follow Your Arrow. All, all great songs, but those aren't even like the, the only good songs. So I, I really think you should, guys should go buy her album because she's awesome. And follow her on Instagram. She has one of the most creative Instagram names, I think, ever. Spacey Casey. I just think that's awesome. And now on to some of my favorite things, the things I'll probably talk about the most in this video. And that's my favorite movies of the year. Now I want you guys to keep in mind, I haven't seen a lot of the big Oscar movies that come out, you know, the ones that get all the awards buzz, they, they come out around this time, and I don't normally see them till it'll be this, this year when I see them, you know, I'll see them later on in 2014, and I might later mark that one of them is my favorite movie of the year, but as of right now, so far, the movies I've seen, my favorite film is probably The Butler. I really like The Butler. It was a really neat take in American history because we hadn't seen this guy's point of view and we didn't know too much about him. And it was just neat to see he was in the White House all the time, you know, when lots of different things in our country, really significant things were going on. I just thought that was a really cool side to see of America. And another thing I want to point out this year from movies was the sequels. I, it's pretty rare for me to like a movie uh, sequel more than I do the first film and this year that happened five times and the first instance of that was Star Trek Into Darkness one of my early favorite movies of the year it still remains in like the top I love this movie I, I think one of the big strong points for it was the bad guy Khan and how Benedict Cumberbatch played him I love Benedict Cumberbatch and Sherlock and this and speaking of Benedict Cumberbatch another film he played the villain in the dragon smog was the hobbit desolation of smog I, I, I smog so much fun to say but I feel like I'm saying it wrong but but oh well however you say it, it it's a great movie I love the hobbit sequel even more than I did the first one and the whole sequence with Smaug and Bilbo at the end of the film is just genius. I love it. It, it. it couldn't have been done more perfectly. You know, he's just, Smaug is just really creepy. And I guess Benedict Cumberbatch even did the motion capture for this film. So he actually moved along with when he was acting. You know, I just think that's awesome the way they did it. It just looks so wonderful. And I, I don't think it could have been done any better. I really don't. And another sequel I really liked this year was Anchorman 2. I liked the first Anchorman, but not as much as some people do, but I absolutely loved Anchorman 2. I was laughing almost the whole entire time. Uh, just Ron Burgundy, he's such a different character, and I really like seeing him and the whole news crew 
on screen again. I love all the cameos at the end with the big news battle. That was awesome. Fast and Furious 6 was another sequel I really liked. Um, I was all right with the Fast and Furious movies up until Fast 5, and I saw Fast 5 earlier this year, and I loved it. And then I, wa I went and saw Fast and Furious 6 because I like Fast 5 so much. And I liked it just as much. Maybe not. Maybe a little bit more than Fast 5. They, they're both really awesome sequels. I feel like they hyped up the series a lot. And I like it's one of those situations when I watch Fast 5 and I think, oh, it's better than Fast 6. But then I'll watch Fast and Furious 6 and I might think it's better than Fast 5. And the final sequel I want to talk about that I liked even more than the first one was a lot of people have been talking about this one and agree with me. And it's The Hunger Games Catching Fire. I thought this amped up the first one in so many different ways. You know, the action scenes were done really well. The Hunger Games were done, I think, even better in this one than the first one. It, it was really exciting. Everything about it was exciting. And it was even more emotional in parts. And you got to see the government kind of be even more evil. And the corrupted government storyline they have going there, it, it's really, really good. I really am excited to see what they do in the sequels. And a few others I want to mention that were, were other really good movies were 42. I really liked the telling of Jackie Robinson's story and how he didn't he couldn't fight back exactly, you know. He kind of had to hold his ground and not fight back because of all the racial disputes that were going on at the time. I really liked it just as a movie. And Harrison Ford, he's in it too. He's my favorite actor and I thought he did an awesome job in this. And then the zombie love story, Warm Bodies. I absolutely love this movie. It's so different than any love story I've seen, and it's so different than any zombie film I've seen. And sometimes they, somehow they combine the two, and it's absolutely genius. And I'm not normally into these supernatural love stories they've been doing lately, but this one really worked well, I thought. And the most visually stunning movie of 2013, Gravity. This movie looks so beautiful and so wonderful in 3D. I was so happy I got to see it in 3D because it was so worth it. But even if you didn't see it in 3D, it still looks awesome. Just seeing all the scenes in space and just above Earth, it looked beautiful. And I, I love seeing pictures, you know, above Earth. And this, the whole movie almost, you, you saw Earth, you know, and it just, it just looked wonderful. See Gravity, definitely. Then finally, I mentioned I got into a TV show this year. And it didn't come out in 2013, but I just wanted to mention it just to have a little love letter for it don't worry i'm not getting married to this tv show or anything the tv show is psych i really love psych i think it's a lot of fun it's exactly what i've been wanting to see in a tv show for a long time you know and i, I never got around to watching it just until this year and it, it, the reason why i've wanted to see it a show like this for so long is because it combines a detective story but in a fun setting and this show does it really geniusly and i love the two main characters sean and gus that they just play off each other just perfectly sean does an awesome job pretending he's psychic it's so funny and it's it's still a good crime show at the same time though and i love that about it so thanks for watching this episode of the jacob bill show i really hope you enjoyed my favorite things of 2013 episode and one more thing before i go please subscribe to my friend nathan hit uh he's an awesome guy one of my really good friends and i'll leave his link in the comment section below Here's to a great 2014, and I hope everyone's having a good day and a good week, and we'll be seeing you later, guys. Bye.